Foreman Spike is a character that's going to appear in the upcoming, as of this video, Illumination Mario movie. Whack choice, right? Why pick someone who's only appeared in Wrecking Crew? Well, there's more to him than you would expect. Even turn to the good guys in his most latest appearance. Let me explain. Wrecking Crew released in 1985 on the Famicom and NES. Across America and Japan, and everything in between. You're Mario, or Luigi. You work in a demolition site, destroying 100 buildings. Over the course of your quote-unquote adventure, you get to encounter a ton of enemies. Four. The fireball that appears of your tardy, eggplant man, gotcha wrench, and foreman Spike. Spike also works in the demolition site, but instead of working with the brothers like good co-workers, he sees the brothers as rivals, and he even actively hinders them. What a dick. So anyway, that was the end of Spike for some time. Mario Luigi did their duties, destroying a hundred buildings, and did some stuff, like saving princess stuff. We jump to 1998, and Wrecking Crew 98 releases all across the world of Japan. The story of this game, thanks to a fan translation, is that Mario returns from a trip only to discover that Bowser has built a ton of skyscrapers across the Mushroom Kingdom. The high towers are sort of blocking out the sunlight, which is sort of murdering the flowers. And so, going into his house, Mario picks up his magic hammer that he used back in the original Wrecking Crew, and he's off to destroy all of Bowser's buildings. Over the course of his adventure, he meets some old pals, new pals, such as this sentient rice ball. But let's focus on Spike, because he returns here, directly working with Bowser. He seems to have built a grudge towards Mario in between the years even sees himself as Mario's original rival. But after a round with him, Spike actually enjoyed the whole battling Mario thing. He hadn't had that much fun in a long while. He then tells Mario the location of Bowser's secret base, as promised earlier, so he's also a good sport about it. What a nice guy. During the game, if you demolish all of the buildings, you gotta change the ending where Bowser's basically pissed that he's been used by Spike, just to get at Mario, and then Spike is chased away by Bowser, and that was the end of, you know, the alliance between this, the turtle and the human. Oh man, was that the end of Spike? Foreman Spike? Famous villain? Well, no. Well, half, no. We jump to 2001, oh my god. 2001. Camelot releases their second Mario Golf game on the Game Boy. That's right, another Japan exclusive game, can't believe it. One of the unlockable playable characters in this game is... Gosh, surprise, it's Foreman Spike. The mobile golf site actually has a description for a spiky man over here. Translated it reads, This character has reappeared after a long time. In fact, he seems to be a hard-working, kind-hearted person. Not only has he let go of his grudge, he's also playing golf. And kind-hearted, can't forget that. And well, that's the end of his character arc. Spike was pretty childish at first, but learned to grow up, along with staying with that mighty beard. Why did you shave it in 98? That's, that's horrible. His last few appearances was in NES Remix, where he, obviously, appeared in the Wrecking Crew stages, afterwards a costume in Mario Maker, a micro game in WarioWare Gold, and now he's an upcoming character in the Mario movie, by an actor. He will talk now, for the first time. I'm impressed. I'm proud of him. Well, I made this to let people know about Spike's character progression. He's not some prototype Waluigi, or Waluigi in the past, or any kind of Wa. 
I wonder if the movie will reflect his current character, though going by my own speculation. This might be an origin story, so Spike may just be the dick person. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't fear clunts. What is this promotional art? Why is he got an excavator? Why is he, why is he scooping the balls? You can't do that. That's too many balls for one hole. You can't you can't scoop them all up. I don't think it's even allowed to have an excavator on the golf track. Don't do that.